here are some important blood tests in relation to the heart. Normal ranges of some of these tests may vary between labs. Cholesterol is a type of fat found in the blood and has a role in the development of atherosclerosis in the coronary arteries as well as other arteries. Desirable value of total cholesterol in blood is less than 200 mg per deciliter. Triglycerides is another type of fat found in the blood. Desirable value is less than 150 mg per deciliter. Very high levels of triglycerides, typically above 500 mg per deciliter, carry a risk of pancreatitis. Calorie restriction is important in reducing triglyceride levels in addition to fat restriction. This is because excess calories like carbohydrates get converted to triglycerides in the body. HDL cholesterol or high density lipoprotein cholesterol is called good cholesterol as it is involved in reverse cholesterol transport from the blood vessels to the liver. It is nice to have HDL cholesterol above 60 mg per deciliter. HDL levels can be increased by regular exercise programs. Pharmacological approaches to increase HDL have not been useful so far. Higher values of HDL cholesterol are better for you, though there is a concern that extremely high values could be deleterious. LDL cholesterol or low density lipoprotein cholesterol is called bad cholesterol. Excess LDL cholesterol in blood can lead to atherosclerosis in the important arteries and lead to stroke and myocardial infarction. LDL levels can be reduced by diet control, regular exercise and medications if needed. Statins are the most commonly used medications to lower LDL cholesterol. ECS K9 inhibitors are a more powerful but expensive option especially in those who cannot tolerate statins or are unable to achieve target levels with statins. Generally, the desirable LDL level is below 100 mg per deciliter, though lower values are recommended for those with coronary artery disease. The importance of getting lipid profile estimated in fasting state is coming down. But if it is for triglyceride levels, postprandial increase in triglycerides have to be kept in mind. Yet, there is also some indication that an undue postprandial rise in triglyceride levels also conveys a risk for cardiovascular disease. Creatinine phosphokinase MB, CPK MB, is a cardiac marker used for the diagnosis of myocardial infarction. It is an enzyme released from the myocardium on damage. Though currently troponins are the sheet anger for the diagnosis of myocardial infarction, they cannot be used for detection of early reinfarction due to persistence in blood for a longer period. In such a situation, CPK MB is still useful. CPK MB, though relatively specific for heart muscle injury, can be elevated in massive skeletal muscle injury. Cardiac troponins are proteins released from the myocardium after damage. It is the most important blood test used for detection of a myocardial infarction. Delta troponin or serial rise in high sensitivity troponin level over a period of 1 or 2 hours have been useful in detecting myocardial infarction in the usual window period before 6 hours needed for a regular troponin rise. For using delta troponin, we need the lab normal ranges for the interval at which it is being estimated. Troponin elevation without supporting evidence of myocardial infarction is designated as myocardial injury and can occur in a large number of conditions like burns and renal failure. Earlier, these were considered as false positives. Though there is no role for cardiac interventions in these cases, prognosis of troponin elevation in myocardial injury is equally bad if not worse than myocardial infarction. BNP and anti-proBNP are blood tests used for detection of heart failure in the emergency department. Anti-proBNP is used more often than BNP with a shorter half-life. Natriuretic peptides are useful in diagnosis as well as prognosis evaluation. Levels can be unduly high in chronic kidney disease. Angiotensin II receptor blocker neprilysin inhibitor ARNI Use is another situation which can alter BNP levels but not anti pro BNP levels. This is because BNP degradation is prevented by ARNI and levels rise, though one would have expected a fall due to improvement in heart failure. C reactive protein or CRP is a predictor for risk of cardiovascular disease. Risk increases as the value rises. According to the American Heart Association, levels of high sensitivity CRP 
ലോവർ ദാൻ വൺ മില്ലിഗ്രാംസ് പെർ ഡെസിലിറ്റർ ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ് ലോ റിസ്ക് ഓഫ് ഡെവലപ്പിംഗ് കാർഡിയോ ഓസ്കുലർ ഡിസീസ് വൈ ലെവൽസ് ഹയർ ദാൻ ത്രീ മില്ലിഗ്രാംസ് പെർ ഡെസിലിറ്റർ ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ്സ് ഹൈ റിസ്ക് ദ റിസ്ക് ഇസ് മോഡറേറ്റ് വിത്ത് ലെവൽസ് ഇൻ ബിറ്റ്വീൻ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് വാല്യൂ ഓഫ് എച്ച് എസ് സി ആർ പി ഇസ് ഇൻഡിപെൻഡൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് എൽ ഡി എൽ ലെവൽസ് ആൻഡ് അഡ്രസ്സസ് ദി ഇൻഫ്ലമേറ്ററി കോമ്പണൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് കാർഡിയോ ആസ്കുലർ റിസ്ക് എലിവേറ്റഡ് ആൻറ്റി സ്ട്രെപ്റ്റലൈസിൻ ഒ എ എസ് ഒ ടൈറ്റർ ഇൻഡിക്കേറ്റ്സ് റീസെൻറ്റ് സ്ട്രെപ്റ്റോക്കൽ ഇൻഫെക്ഷൻ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ സപ്പോർട്ടീവ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ ദ ഡയഗ്നോസിസ് ഓഫ് റൊമാറ്റിക് ഫീവർ നോട്ട് എ ഡയഗ്നോസ്റ്റിക് വൺ ബട്ട് അസോഷിയേറ്റഡ് ക്ലിനിക്കൽ ഓർ എക്കോകാർഡിയോഗ്രാഫിക് എവിഡൻസ് ഈസ് നീഡഡ് ഫോർ ദ ഡയഗ്നോസിസ് ഓഫ് റൊമാറ്റിക് ഫീവർ it may be noted that even in an epidemic of streptococcal sore throat only about 3% will develop rheumatic fever while the remaining persons will also have elevated aso titer usually aso elevation will not be there in chorea and indolent carditis which are also major manifestations though late of rheumatic fever here is an important journal reference Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video. Kindly press the bell icon after that for getting all updates.